Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're back at the velodrome, but this time you have onboard footage. So it's gonna make racing super interesting. Before going on to the racing footage, I wanna thank today's sponsor of the video, which is 21 Stages Cycling. So this is an online store, which is North American's source for premium boutique cycling apparel and accessories. They carry a bunch of cool brands such as Givello, which is the jersey I am wearing in this video. It's from their brand new collection. So yeah, check it out. There will be a link in the description down below and let's get straight to the video now. So today we have a pretty busy day on the velodrome. So four races. So we start with the Kirin in the morning, scratch, elimination and point race. Exactly the same format as the last video that you saw on my YouTube channel, but this time the field's gonna be smaller and less strong. So this is, this is definitely good for me. More chances of uh, doing great. The legs feels good, I have a good resting week. Without further ado, let's jump straight to the first race, which is the Kirin. Let's go. Kieran is done. I have a lot of knowledge to share. A lot of good things and a lot of bad things. So I need to sit down there. So first round, I was just not strong enough. Couldn't hold the wheel. I tried to jump on the guy. Did not work. Got stuck. Got a, had a gap. Got stuck in the wind. And race was over. But now, Kieran race number two. Again, I was very well positioned. I was behind that Toronto Oslo guy, David, who I knew was uh, pretty good. He was strong and my plan here was just to follow his wheel. Uh, so he was in fourth place, I was in fifth. And I, I saw him, he took a little gap, he led a little distance with the guy in third place and I knew something was up to. So, and I was very alert. As soon as David jumped, I jumped with, it, with him. We passed the three guys and then I holded his wheel, did a lap and a half behind him and at the bell lap right across the finish line, there was one more lap to go. I tried to go around him for maybe a quarter of the turn, I was side by side, but I just couldn't get the speed to pass him. So I got back behind him and then finished the turn and another guy was with me and we fight for second place. And he got me, because he was on the outside. He had a little bit more speed. And uh, yeah, super fun race. Technically, 
I raced very good. I, th I think I've done everything I could uh, to win this race. Just not strong enough. I, and again, look at this bike. Look at this. I have a, a $2,000 bike. <laughs> but yeah, it's not always about the gear, but in track racing, I got to say, having a disc wheel, aero frame, carbon frame, that's a, that's a two or three kilometers an hour difference for the same power. So we'll see for the next race. Alright guys, so race number two done, scratch race, and as I expected, it was going to end up into a bunch sprint, so scratch race, 90% of the time, there's no breakaway because it's just so fast that no one gets to keep staying away. Uh, so race went good, my plan was to stay hidden as much as possible and unleash a big sprint at the end. Um, about five or six laps to go, uh, I put, I betted my race on this one guy, so uh, one of the guys who won the Karen or made the top three in the Karen in the morning. So big sprinter and I, I really put my race on him for it to bring me up the Pelton. But the thing with sprinters is usually they, they don't have endurance, which was maybe the case here. So the guy never started to move up and two laps to go, it was, it was time to be very late. And that's where I got off his wheel. I pushed as hard as I could, but I stayed in that fifth to sixth place. I was really on the outside and it was really hard for me to come back and gain some position. So, pretty stoked with that result. Top five, top six, that's good enough for me. I'm very stoked on it. And now it's time to recover and wait for the next race, which is elimination. Elimination is hard, it's really hard. All right, guys, so here's the L Nation. So you guys are pretty lucky. We have a th triple cam. So the main camera from the sidelines, the GoPro in the front, and the Insta360 on the side, pointing to the right because that's where most of the pass will be made. And uh, yes, guys, so this is field number B because, uh, because yeah, I'm, I'm not quite uh, there fitness-wise to go in the A. Um, winter is uh, is right here and for me it's not like the best time of the year I mean it's probably the same for everyone just making excuses here but second excuse which surely makes a big difference is um, look at all these bikes literally almost everyone has an aero carbon frame disc wheel and I am here with my steel fixed gear frame and small wheels but right away we come on to our first elimination and I am in a decent position. There's someone, uh, orange bike here, stuck you know, on the inside and he just can't make it. Strong guy, I mean, he got out in the first round and usually that's always happening on the Elimination is you're still fresh and you get kicked out of the race just because of bad luck, bad positioning at the same time. Um, but here, uh, so I'm playing this game of staying at the back and doing micro acceleration. So this game is quite dangerous. Uh, but it's kind of my style because I'm decent enough at, uh, on and off the gas and the pedal. So right away, here I start to accelerate and I'm in big trouble, man. That guy in, in green, 
Really put me in the stress there, and I barely, barely made it by an inch. But it's uh, the guy on the uh, fully inside that just got out. Because that's what happened when you're uh, down the line next to that black line. It's so dangerous, especially at the back. But now I'm totally cooked. I've just done a full on sprint for sure over a thousand watts. And me and the green dude are again fighting for uh, for who's gonna make it to the, to this uh, to the next round. I look back and I see, all right, he's not really a threat anymore, and he just gave up. Um, I mean, it, it was just as cooked as I am from that last sprint because we almost got out. Um, so here I, I get to chill a little bit more at the back of the peloton, getting the best draft, but doing acceleration every time. So here, um, take a look at that white guy. Um, he's making himself slip all the way behind. So he was stuck on the inside, but he went all the way back so he can go around and not get stuck. And it's paying up well for him here because he's able to, uh, to make the pass, I think. Looking back, make sure I'm good. And yes, the white guy made it. And who's got out? The green guy right on the inside. So kudos to the, the guy in white. He did the really good job of going back from the front, going back from that black line, go around to secure his position. Come into another lap to go. And now it was a big mistake. I'm, I went on the inside of the blue guy, a junior, and I'm, I'm, my front wheel is stuck there. There's no way more time for me to go around and I think my, my race is done. So I just squeeze in, I just squeeze in, and I made it by a millimeter. And that green guy, he just can't believe it. He shake his head. <laughs> uh, sorry, buddy, I squeezed myself and I, and I made it. So here, um, behind me, we have, uh, in blue, we have Aiden, a junior, and he's following me on YouTube, so shout out to Aiden, Adam, and here, the bell lap, and it's me against him, pretty much, so I, I, right now, I'm in position, I'm in a draft, and he's not in the draft, so that's good for me, um, but I still keep my eye on him, because juniors are fast, and that's where Adam makes a mistake, he goes in the inside instead of the outside, and just like that, there's no place for him to go, and he's out. Now it's getting very exciting, and I want you guys to look um, at a very good move here. So the, the guy in black, big acceleration to go all the way to the front. So this guy did not really want it to do more microburst of acceleration, so he just decided to go all the way to the front. And now we have here uh, in white, uh, Scott, his name, uh, huge sprinter, next-gen Team Canada sprinter. And he, he was on the inside, he slid all the way to the back to go all the way around. And here I have to try to follow him, but he's too strong. And that's where I almost got out for another time. But being on the outside, I have all the way to go. Uh, no one to block me, uh, only the wind, that's the problem. But here, the guy in red uh, was stuck, could not move forward. Now it's a little bit of the liner because of that big acceleration. Uh, white guy is all the way to the front, he's pulling. But he's a sprinter, guys. Remember that sprinter <laughs> don't have a lot of cartridge in their pocket, and now he's pulling in the front, so um, definitely something's gonna happen soon. So again here, guy in white was on the inside, another guy in white, go all the way around, move to the back, and I just keep an eye on him, just make sure that he's not going for me, and I just made it again by half a wheel. So, look who's on the black line on the end, fully inside. Scott, his name. Look, super nice bike, aero guy. And he's, he's, he's look like he's gonna be stuck there. And um, here I'm trying to rest, one lap to go. We have uh, Velo 2000 in green, who's going around him. So just make sure that he's gonna, gonna be stuck on the inside. But I'm not letting myself get kicked out here. I stay in the draft, I push as hard as I can right here. Big sprint, 800 watt for sure. And look who's out, boom, Koresh, and he's pretty mad. Uh, um, understandable, he was stuck, nowhere, no place to go. Probably still have the legs because he was hidden this whole time throughout the race. Now the pace really started to ramp up here after uh, an acceleration. The guy in black, white helmet here is really put, putting a good pace, but I'm just surfing the wheels. I'm doing my best to save as much energy as I can. And look who's on the inside, Bell lap. It's uh, Scott. 
and he's stuck. I'm doing my best here to go around him, and he, Toronto Assault guy blocks him in, and we go around, and I think what he should have done is slip to the back and go all the way around myself, but um, it, that's a dangerous game as well, because you can run out of time, and it takes a lot of energy to re-accelerate. Now coming down to four people, super close to the podium, and here I see who oh, the guy at the front, and I felt like this guy has been there for a long time. He's been pulling, he's been playing safe at the front, but pulling, which takes a lot of energy. And now we have our Toronto Arsenal guy who's going around him, his teammate in black going around, and that just leaves me the perfect draft to move up and just make sure that I go around that black guy. Another big sprint to secure the position, and there's nowhere, no other place for him to go. He's stuck on the inside. And now it's a three-man race, and I, after if you guys need to count all the acceleration I've done, <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> uh, but here you're, we're gonna see a little mistake that I've done. So pace is slowing down. We're looking at each other, and we're waiting for who's going first. And I, I should have made a move. I did not. And Toronto Russell guy accelerate, took the inside line, made a good pace, and I was just not pushing hard enough. I just couldn't didn't have the legs after all of this uh, race try to go around but guy in black was just stronger we're gonna go, go back to that last lap after the race we're gonna see uh, maybe a, a thing I should have done or could have done at least um, for uh, for next time but let's look at how these two guys played it out so now they're slowing down they're looking at each other turn to us guy as the inside and he's doing a really good job of keeping an eye on him going up the velodrome so he can carry speed and that's where he unleashed first so he could go on the inside line all the black line so if the black guy need to go all the way around him at this point he's super tight but black guy has more distance to cover and he's missing the first place by what half a bike that was close all right, I love this walk. Walk back to the podium ceremony. Let's go. When you know they're about to call your name, you're excited. All this hard work on the trainer this winter, it's, it's great. It's a, it's a nice feeling. Even though it's Cat B, I'm still proud. The day I'll upgrade my equipment, I'll be in Cat A. But until then, I'm having fun in Cat B. Race recap. Let's go back to the booth and uh, because very interesting race. <laughs> Boom! First podium of the year, certainly not the last, so I'm super hyped. The race went, I was not expecting that, so my plan at first was I'm gonna go up the front and that didn't happen, so I literally stayed last, second to last place the whole race and micro bursts of acceleration every single two laps to prevent myself from being eliminated. Worked out well. Um, the problem with that strategy is that usually around that mid to end of the race, you, you just don't have legs anymore, which was the case when I finally got to that third place. Was not able to contend that second or first place. But in the end, I made it to the podium. That's all that matters. Super stoked on it. And um, now, looking forward to the last race. The motivation and confidence is all the way up. So let's grab some points and have fun. and get some experience on the bike all right point race so point race it's very tough uh, it's all about positioning saving energy and go and don't die so basically this race here as we see um, the first five or six laps is just like big polar turning position skipping relays and you don't want to pull at the front but you don't want to go all the way to the back because then you're gonna run out of time in here um, coming on two laps to go for the points, I made a mistake here and I went too long, too early and here I'm just going up and going up all by myself in the wind, 45, 6, 50k an hour and again 
now another issue I've done here I've go rest myself behind a guy who literally just pull uh, so definitely not a good idea he's looking back he doesn't doesn't know what he's doing that much but I'm on his wheel and I maybe should not have been there but that's where I am so here flying attack starts and pace is ramping up and I have a hard time following up we have one lap to go I saw that this guy seems good enough to go move up but he's in the wind again and he's not really gaining position he's just stagnating in five or six place there's three people on the inside there and no place for me to go for points um, it's the five first who gets points and <laughs> that effort has it doesn't look like it but it absolutely killed me especially those two laps going up and now uh, it starts to really a liner here and we're gonna see uh, in fast forward the, the video because otherwise it's gonna be too long uh, the pimp is ramping up and here there's a gap that air first gap that I close a full tour that I put the hammer down to close and again uh, there's another separation that is about to create itself and I'm get caught behind and this is a, a problem in this year I've done here is I've closed the gap but then I've let myself slip in the back because I'm so cooked so now there's it's almost back all together it's almost but then someone don't didn't want to pull and the gap grew and now we're like five guys here who's just working our ass off to fight against six guys in the front working together and it's not really working out uh i tr i work as much as i can but i've never really recovered from that first effort and until i say fuck this shit i'm <laughs> i'm i'm done uh there's no way f for me to keep going so yeah lesson learned Alright guys, so point race did not go as expected. Uh, the only footage we have is from this camera because Michael was not filming because I told him to wait before filming. And then I DNF. <laughs> so, legs completely done. Uh, I've done maybe one or two moves that cost a lot of energy. I should not have go for that first sprint because too many people tried it. Took me too much juice. Did not even get points. And after that, the liner was on. I've worked really hard to close that gap, but unfortunately, uh, it just grew and grew. And at some point, I did not really want to keep riding my bike anymore. And I was done for the day. Legs were feeling super bulky. So as part of the game, when you're uh, doing Kieran in the morning and elimination up to the final, the legs do take a toll. So maybe next time I will skip the Kieran so I can be fresher for the point race. We'll see. Anyways, I'm super hyped about this day. Very happy. All right, Dom, have a good race. Yes, sir. Last point good race, job. let's go. Make us proud. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and come to Milton next uh, next race in March. It's gonna be fun. And if you do come here, do not stay, come see me. I'd love to chat with you guys. It's always fun to engage in some great cycling conversation. All right, my name is Charles, and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video.